What's going on everybody? This is DK Dynamite and today what I have for you guys is a bit of a breakdown as to what's going on with the collector's edition of Black Ops Cold War. I've seen quite a few questions all over the internet and even in my comment section asking what's going on with it. So I'm going to try my best to break all that down here in today's video. We're also going to be taking a look back at all the previous Treyarch collector's editions which is something that I've had in the works for quite some time and we're going to be talking about a black PlayStation 5. Yes, new information also surfaced on that a little over a day go definitely stay tuned but before you jump into that be sure to hit that subscribe button down below and also let me know in the comments what do you guys want to see in a collector's edition of Black Ops Cold War what do you think would be included in one if one does end up releasing I'm going to be picking some of the best ideas from the comments and shouting them out in one of my upcoming videos but first and foremost I want to take a look at these juggernaut control freaks with you guys since they were just announced a couple of weeks ago with the reveal of Black Ops Cold War zombies I actually put in an order right away but for whatever reason I didn't end up receiving them until late yesterday because mail in the United States is just broken right now so I was getting notifications last week that they were out for delivery that they were delivered in my mailbox and I just never saw the package I don't know what happened but finally as of yesterday they ended up popping up and here we have it one of the coolest packaging for a set of control freaks I've ever seen I mean you could tell that they're definitely fans of the Call of Duty franchise and we have a mini juggernaut case here and the coolest part is that inside not only are the control freaks there but we also have have a magnetic juggernaut logo which you could set on top of this mini juggernaut case and boom we have a mini fridge and it's ironic because I'm putting this right next to my actual juggernaut mini fridge and I also still have the original juggernaut control freaks from a couple of years ago I think they released with Black Ops 3 and they're still in decent shape I'll put them side by side with the new ones and you could definitely tell which ones are newer and which ones aren't but control freak went all out with this if you guys are interested I will have a link down below in the description but huge special thanks to Control Freak for hooking this up. I'm glad the package ended up popping up yesterday because I was really sad for a second. I'm like, did they get lost in the mail because of how small they are? I wasn't sure what happened, but this is definitely a must-have before the release of Black Ops Cold War. Now, when it comes to the collector's edition of Treyarch's upcoming game, here's what's going on. So let's take a trip down memory lane here with all previous Treyarch collector's editions. If there isn't a collector's edition for Black Ops Cold War, it will be breaking a decade-long tradition because we have one from World at War or Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, definitely Black Ops 3, and as of recently, we had on Black Ops 4 as well, but it does seem like Activision may not be interested in doing any more physical copies of Call of Duty, at least in the distant future, because they've really been pushing for digital pre-orders if you guys do want a beta code, and now the beta is open on all platforms, so no code is required, but with World at War, we ended up having this flask, right, and it's pretty funny, because the flask was also in Garad Krovi, if you wanted to upgrade the monkey bombs. You can't actually drink from the flask, but I'm not sure I even would anyway since this is over 12 years old and I picked it up on eBay a couple of weeks ago, but it's nice and shiny. It has the World at War logo on it and this is probably Treyarch's first, if not the first, collector's items that they ever worked on when developing a game, which is awesome. But now when it comes to Black Ops 1, we have the classic RCXD, truly a piece of art and honestly something that I think was really ahead of its time. The remote control that this came with has a little screen on it so the RCXD itself has a mini camera and a speaker so you could do quite a bit with this and you'll see the RCXD in action later on in this video but you can see very beautifully how this is a one-to-one -one match to the RCXD that was in Black Ops 1 multiplayer we have the Treyarch logo we have the Activision logo and this does take quite a bit of batteries as well so if you ever pick this up make sure you have just enough double A's I think it's well over six that it requires which is insane but this thing is awesome really happy I picked this up just for the sake of putting together this video. I'm really excited about putting a video together like this, showcasing all the Treyarch collector's items. But with Black Ops 2, we have the Dragonfly drone, which I also managed to pick up just a couple of weeks ago online. And the collector's edition of Black Ops 2 actually came with a giant care package. And within the care package was a number of different items, including the Dragonfly drone. But for the sake of time in this video, we're just gonna say the Dragonfly was the main collector's item back from that game. But the stand that this came with does say Black Ops 2 on it and also has a mini guns so just like with the RCXD this is a perfect one-to-one -one match of the drone that we had back in Black Ops 2 multiplayer and the drone itself is pretty delicate it was made out of some type of styrofoam so you have to be very careful when handling this
this thing since you can very easily crush it with just your fingers alone but when actually flying it it's okay if it falls to the ground it'll be okay but it's something about holding it that makes me nervous it's very soft and you'll see footage of it in action later on in this video as well but it does charge via a provided USB cable and the remote for this does require a number of double A's as well just like with the RCXD but it was pretty cool to fly and I'm surprised that it flew as high as it did considering that this is over eight years old and I also picked it up online but now when it comes to Black Ops 3 we have what is easily the best collector's edition that Treyarch has ever done but honestly one of the best in gaming history the Juggernaug mini fridge so this sold out very very quickly back when Black Ops 3's collector's edition was announced a number of years ago I managed to pick it up on eBay I think it was a week before Black Ops 3 came out so luckily I managed to get this right around the time of release of Black Ops 3 and the fridge itself is amazing if it stopped working for any of you guys Guys, please let me know down below in the comments since mine stopped working a couple of years ago and I ended up finding a fix for it. So not only was the power cable going bad that was provided with the fridge, but it was also confirmed by Hacktivision that you're not supposed to leave this on for more than 12 hours a day. And I was leaving it on every single day back then. But once I learned the truth about the fridge, I ended up finding a very similar power cable that works even better than the original. Again, if you guys are having any issues with this, let me know down below in the comments. But now I leave it on for no more than about 10 hours a day. I still use it to this day and it can hold up to 12 cans in the fridge itself You could also take out the trays inside of the fridge in case you wanted to put in something else Like some long beer bottles or some food whatever you guys want But the lights still work the sounds work and it keeps everything very cold But I don't think Trey could ever top this But if you have any better ideas down below in the comments as to how they could put out a better collector's edition than this Please feel free to drop all of your thoughts I really want to hear some cool ideas because as of now I don't think this could ever be topped it's that awesome but now when it comes to black ops 4 we have the chaos mystery box now the problem with this is that if they would have done a ether mystery box it would have sold so much better but to this day juggernaut mini fridges are still very expensive on ebay but the chaos mystery box is something that you can find very easily and for very cheap all over the internet across several different websites this thing just didn't hit and the reason why is because nobody was invested in the chaos story yet how do you sell a collector's item for a story that nobody even played yet i mean how can you expect too many sales with it it just didn't make sense to me but it's a cool looking box i mean it's just a box and for me at least i put in a lot of miscellaneous items in it whether it's cash power cables paperwork that's kind of what i throw into this that's about it i mean the sound on it is very loud so if you want to keep the sound on this thing then put a blanket under it <laughs> so it kind of suppresses it a little bit but this is probably the best for maybe halloween when maybe you leave a box outside with candy in it you could just use this i mean it's pretty demonic looking too so if somebody comes into your house they're gonna be like what the hell is that but it's okay i mean it's not the worst collector's item but it's just a box so hopefully if they do one for black ops cold war it can very easily top this one but if they would have done this maybe a couple of years from now if chaos had really took off then this would have been fine but i think the ether mystery box maybe even the mob of the dead mystery box would have been a much better option for black ops 4 now when it comes to what exactly is going on with black ops cold wars collector's edition here's something that i've clarified a couple of times but i feel like a lot of people also missed so here's the deal right activision essentially confirmed they want more digital pre-orders for their upcoming game and they won't provide you with a beta code if you buy a physical copy from the store the beta is open on all platforms now so the beta code's useless but my theory from a couple of weeks ago was that maybe they're waiting until the beta is officially over to announce a collector's edition so that they don't have to come out and say okay guys here's a collector's box it costs two hundred dollars but guess what it doesn't come with a beta code how silly would that sound to actually have to explain that so once the beta is over completely and it's not available on any platform platforms whatsoever they can come out and say okay guys here's a physical collector's edition it costs 150 or 200 dollars there you go they don't have to even mention the beta whatsoever so maybe that's what they're waiting for because at first i was like all right if the collector's edition is zombies related they'll probably end up announcing it during the zombies reveal since that makes the most sense but then the reveal came and we didn't get any announcement about one so either one of two things is happening now they're gonna announce one after the beta is officially over that's kind of the last window to announce one or one just isn't happening at all which make me very sad since it will be breaking a decade-long tradition and if you guys are like wait isn't it too late to announce one by now since we're less than a month away from release and honestly that doesn't really matter if it's something that's as cool as a juggernaut fridge it'll sell out pretty quickly no matter what so i don't think that actually matters but let's just see i'm kind of in denial about it since again treyarch's always done 
one, so it would be very unfortunate to not do one with what is easily about to be one of the most successful Call of Duties in history. But we'll just have to wait and see. Activision seems to be leaning towards digital sales only going forward. They're really not trying to push for any physical copies, which I guess saves them money, so I understand that. But taking a look at the collector's items they've done over the years, the collector's items for World at War, Black Ops 1, and Black Ops 2 were just general collector's items for those games. But Black Ops 3 and 4 went all out with zombie-specific collector's items. So now the question is, if they do another one in the future, what will it be? Will it be centered around campaign or multiplayer, or will it be centered around zombies? That is definitely a good question. Now, last but not least, we have an update on the black PlayStation 5. So a number of months ago, we had an image surface of what appeared to be a prototype black DualSense controller. It didn't look like it was very official, but a little over a day ago, we had a newer version of that DualSense that surfaced on the internet. I'm not sure how this popped up somewhere, but here we have it, a very official looking black DualSense controller. So I guess you could say a black PS5 is inevitable at this point, but based off the video that Sony dropped a couple of weeks ago, which was an in-depth look at the hardware of the console, it looks like the front casing on the PS5 could easily be replaced with potentially different colored casings. So maybe instead of releasing bundles that are different colors, for the PS5, they could just release different front casings of the console that may cost no more than 20 or 30 bucks. So you can have a PS5 with the color of your choice. That would be insane. But I still think it's a missed opportunity not to do a Black Ops Cold War PS5 bundle with a nice decked out and blacked out PS5 with Treyarch artwork on it. I still think they'll end up doing a Miles Morales PS5 at some point in the future as well. But as of now, the base and white PS5 is the only console dropping on November the 12th in certain areas around the world, of course. But I would say probably at some point after that, you know, it'll be funny for business to just go ahead and announce a black PS5 bundle. It'll definitely frustrate some people around the community, but I think it'll be okay at the end of the day. Now, that is about it. This has been DK Dynamite. Leave all your thoughts down below in the comment section. What do you guys think about the Juggernaut Control Freaks, the Black Ops Holder Collector's Edition, and the potential of it? And what do you think about our trip down memory lane with all the previous Treyarch Collector's items as well? That is about it, and peace out, everyone.